everyone, I'm Dana Perino. We're following several fast-moving stories this hour. Jeffrey Epstein's ex under arrest and due in court this afternoon as prosecutors announce charges. The June jobs report topping expectation as President Trump says the economy is roaring back. All that plus a record spike in coronavirus cases as more states close up shop. That's all coming up on a jam-packed daily briefing. We begin with Jeffrey Epstein's confidant now facing charges. Prosecutor saying Ghislaine Maxwell helped Epstein to, quote, recruit, groom, and ultimately abuse young girls. Brian Yenis is following this for us. Brian. Dana, good afternoon. For about a year now, the big question has been, where in the world is Ghislaine Maxwell, British socialite, a wealthy individual, former girlfriend and longtime confidant of Jeffrey Epstein? And a lot of people thought she may have fled the country, but no, she was arrested in Bradford, New Hampshire at 8.30 this morning, just five hours north of New York City, a small town of less than 2,000 people. Reuters reporting she was found on a 156-acre property she bought in all cash last December and other under the guise of an LLC that she used to protect her identity. The FBI says they were keeping tabs on her whereabouts and they moved in when they were ready. Maxwell faces six federal charges, including four charges of conspiracy, enticing and transporting minor girls for the purpose of illegal sex acts and two charges of perjury for lying under oath during two depositions back in 2016. If convicted, she faces up to 35 years in prison. According to the indictment, prosecutors say between 1994 and 1997, Maxwell recruited, coerced, and groomed at least three minors to be sexually abused by Epstein, including a 14-year-old girl. And in a statement, an attorney for one of Epstein's accusers said, quote, Ghislaine Maxwell's brutal, ruthless, and manipulative behavior caused my client tremendous pain. We applaud her long overdue arrest today. All others accused of enabling Jeffrey Epstein's predations must immediately be brought to justice as well. Ghislaine Maxwell had a friendship with Britain's Prince Andrew. The prince is accused of taking part in Epstein's sex ring. In fact, a minor who was trafficked by Maxwell allegedly uh, has accused Maxwell of trafficking her to Prince Andrew. Today, the FBI made clear that Prince Andrew, well, they're interested in speaking with him. We would welcome Prince Andrew coming in to talk with us. We would welcome him coming in and giving us an opportunity to hear his statement. Gillen Maxwell will be making her first court appearance via phone, not video, in Concord, New Hampshire at 3.30 p.m. The uh, U.S. attorney, district attorney here in New York says that ultimately they believe that she should be in detention, not in home confinement, but in detention because of her risk of flight and then leaving, giving her means. Dana? I can understand that. Brian Yenis, thank you. For more on this, let's bring in Daniel Halpert. He's author of A Convenient Death, The Mysterious Demise of Jeffrey Epstein. Um, Daniel, you literally wrote the book about this. And tell me about, as you uh, dug in and understood this story, the role of Maxwell in all of this. It's She's the primary character, aside from Jeffrey Epstein. She was with him from his rise in New York, helped him really get social footing social standing in New York City, make big acquaintances that paid off. She was friends with a lot of people, as you said, uh, as your reporter said, Prince Andrew. Uh, she was very, very close with him and once dated him uh, reportedly. She was also very close with people like Bill Clinton. And there's lots of pictures of her with President Trump. So she had a very big social circle. Um, uh, part of that is by virtue of who her father was. He was a publishing magnate in, uh, in London who died mysteriously himself in the early 90s and it's she's and this is the biggest day in uh, the Jeffrey Epstein story since Jeffrey Epstein's death almost a year ago tell me about what you think um, about where she was hiding if you thought, think she's been there the entire time like um, a little bit about that because you know this has been one of the big mysteries of this whole story yeah, so no reporter has been able to track her down except the New York Post had a picture of her uh, shortly after Epstein's death but it, it, again, if the feds have have eyed her, that's good. There's been some wild reports about her being in France or being elsewhere around the world, being in yachts uh, around the world. 
it turns out she was just in New Hampshire trying to lay low. She had this LLC that she purchased uh, this home through through cash to help hide her identity. I'm not sure whether any of the p townspeople knew who she was or how, how low her profile really was, but she definitely wanted to be out of the media. Look, there's a lot of on-the-record testimony. There's a lot of on-the-record statements from victims who directly state that Ghislaine Maxwell sexually trafficked and sexually abused them. So th a lot of the victims, I, I, I would guess, are feeling very relieved that she's been locked up. At this point, what do you understand is her financial situation? It's a little hard to determine. She was running a nonprofit, which ha was very close to the Clinton Foundation. Uh, she would attend the Clinton Global Initiative events uh, via her nonprofit, but her nonprofit didn't really have many donors. We know that her father at one point was wealthy. We know that she was very close with Jeffrey Epstein. She had a, her own home on the Upper East Side in New York. We don't know much about her financial uh, situation, but given that she paid cash for what is apparently a mm -hmm. pretty nice place place in New Hampshire, she appears to be financially pretty well off and stable enough. Daniel Harper, Helper, uh, everyone should get your, your book because uh, it came out just about a month ago. It's very fresh, and now it really um, is going to be a big part of this news coverage. Thank you so much for coming on today.